back to the third match of the evening involving Tom Lonsdale and Mike Norton. Mike Norton, you might remember if you're first time watchers, uh, had darts to beat Raymond Van Barneveld at the UK Open a couple of years ago. Uh, I'll just give you a rundown of their results so far. Mike Norton, week one, uh, beat Steve Brown, as I told you earlier, in that absolute thriller, 5 4. Steve Brown averaging over 90 in that one. Tom Lonsdale uh, beat the player we've just seen in the previous match, Wayne Thomas, 5 3. Uh, and Mike Norton, uh, unfortunately, lost his glasses or broke his glasses en route to the venue uh, and went down 5 4 to Wayne Thomas in week two. Week three, he was sunning himself in Cyprus. What are these lads going on all day except me? Um, Tom Lonsdale, he went down to Steve Brown, 5 3. And last week, uh, Tom Lonsdale went down to league leader Har uh, Gary Harding 5-4. Uh, and uh, Sorry, and then last week uh, he beat Paul Smith 5-3. have to just edge in terms of form towards Mike Norton for this one. Uh, the league table... Tom Lonsdale finds himself in fourth position. Uh, Mike Norton, who is uh, one game behind, obviously, like I said, because he missed one week, uh, is down in eighth spot. Uh, but a good few points here uh, with bonus points. We'll see him climb up the table. A little bit of background information on... And both players. Well, they start this first leg at 96, followed by 60 for Mike Norton. Uh, Mike Norton from Western Supermare, 56, nicknamed Iron Mike. Um, plays out of the Salt House in the West of England Super League. Uh, he's the current manager of uh, the West of England side. A Challenge Tour finalist, Somerset Open winner, UK Open finals, as I mentioned, where he had those darts to beat Barneveld. Uh, his best result has got to be beating Adrian Lewis, Joe Cullen, to reach the UK Open finals at Minehead last year. Favourite players, Bob Anderson and Gary Anderson. And he hopes to lead the West of England to promotion this year. And... He feels that the most dangerous opponent in this league will be Steve Brown, who we've just seen lose to Wayne Thomas. Good start for both. Lonsdale, after the first poke, that is 130. Set up shot to leave double 18. And the ball route. Tom Lonsdale, 22 years of old, from 22 years of age. Uh, from Bridgewater, plays Somerset County Darts, Tap and Barrel Super League team. Uh, a PDC Development Tour semi finalist. Uh, won numerous local comps uh, Radstock Open, Warminster, Plymouth. His favourite player or players is Adrian Lewis and Gary Anderson. I think he was made tournament favourite before the off. Of course, this weekend, it's the Champions Cup as Tom there just goes inside. So back Mike Norton will come. A 19 dart opening leg. Uh, but thanks to Marcus Knappman, another well known uh, Bristol and uh, well, Western Super Mare player now, uh, just reminded me that Bar 501 will be playing in the Champions of Champions on, sun on Sunday in Rotherham. So good luck to all the lads going up to that. No doubt a few of you will be uh, listening in and, and watching this. I Plaster Premier League. I'm sure a few of the lads playing in it will be going up to the Champions League to compete for the Bar 501.
Three seven ton start for Mike Morton. Very accomplished. Thank you to all of those that are watching across, watching us across the various social media platforms, Facebook and of course YouTube. Thank you to all those of you that are sharing it and bringing awareness. One more match to come after this one. Steve Brown against Ryan Palmer. Steve Brown playing catch up after missing last week's matches. So no pressure here at all for Mike Norton. Super leg of darts this. 137 turn 136. And he wants. Will he go for it? No. Oh, he's missed the big 10. It's so frustrating as a player when you. You play the percentages and then miss the big number. But still no finish for Tom. 12, double 16 for Mike Norton is his favourite route. And gets the job done. 15 darter there for Mike Norton. Averaging 86 at the moment, even after that scrappy opening leg. But that was a terrific scoring leg of darts there for Mike. Not sure how the third one went in. The knit one, pearl one. Better from Tom, 140. Don't forget, if you're in the area, to Broad Street, Staple Hill in Bristol, everybody welcome. Go up, support the lads. There is a, a viewing area, a barrier where you can watch the action live. Oh, great ton 80 there from Tom. What a leg of darts this is. We had a 15 in the last leg, possible 11 dart in this one. Ton left after just nine darts here. Oh, not quite sure about that, especially with not Mike Norton back on 217. Didn't they say in golf it's all about course management? Well, the board's no, the board's no different. It's all about board management. So that's a 13 darter. Won't do his average any harm. It was at 75. After two legs, it's jumped to 86 now. Mike Norton uses a very long, thin dart. A ton, quite a thick barrel, quite bulbous. Unusual to see the young players thrown with darts of that ilk. blistering third leg for Tom. Shows you what he's capable of. Just lacking a little bit of consistency at the moment. Ton, 54 and another ton. From, oh, he's only 55. Excuse me, God, that looks in. It's been so close. So I am watching this off a tiny little monitor. As you can imagine, they wouldn't want to hear my voice. So unfortunately, I don't get a, a view of the board. Great break opportunity. Oh, excuse me, a great hold opportunity, should I say, for Mike Norton. <clears throat> Six starts at 135 for a hold of throw and a 3 1 lead. So he hit the ball, so it was 85 left. So he went for trouble 15 for tops.
He's left 64. Nice sort of regulation finish for the players, this one. All in the same area of the board. Unless you like tops like Mike. And that's why he went for the eight. Straight in the middle of tops. And an 18 dart leg for Mike Norton. He needs 3 1. Be a big win this for Mike. Won't do his table position any harm, that's for sure. If he can convert this 3 1 lead into a into a win. Only a 41 start for Tom, and Mike really should have jumped all over that. And now he has every opportunity. That's some bad luck. Treble won, 20 bounce out. Now he's punishing it. And so he should. Another 180 for Mike Norton. It's just got to keep things steady now in this leg. And he'll be throwing for the match. If he can convert this lead. 196 points in front. Minus these. And again. 41, 23, 40, 41. This leg for Tom. Night and day. Up to when you compare it to the third leg of this match. When he left 100 after nine darts, his scoring boots have deserted him. 60, 180, 60, 60 for Mike Norton. So six darts, at least at one for one, to go within one. One more match to go after this one. Steve Brown against Ryan Palmer. It'll be the second time we've seen Steve tonight. Expect, expect him to play a little better in the second match. He's had uh, his first match back after a, a week abroad at a family wedding. So he should have had enough practice by then. I think we'll see in a, an improved version. But double 13. Sorry. Triple 19. Still do it. Triple 18 ball. Yeah, ball. And that's a great shot. Absolutely super shot. Only got himself to blame there, Mike Norton. After in that 60, 180, and then went 60, 60, 60, 55. Ended up having 18 darts and only one at a double. And that was one, one at that double was at double 13. That will frustrate him. A super one, two, three finish. From Tom Lonsdale. Picked the treble 18 off. And then slapped it straight in the bullseye. If Mike Norton goes on to lose this match. He will absolutely kick himself. Because he's been given every opportunity. And he's created plenty of opportunities. Just not been able to put Tom away. Not going on with the Lonsdale throw. We'll have a look at that later. Mike straight down the side of his face. Not really an aimer. More of a chucker. Tom's backswing. A bit too big and it causes that little adjustment in the wrist you can see right on the back of the the backswing something he will have to address very very hard to keep any kind of consistency with so much going on you need to your throw needs to evolve into something that you can replicate time and time and time again double eight that'd have been for a 15 so one one eight for Mike Norton. Can he pick his pocket? Not this time. 
was unlucky. I thought that second arc was in to leave double, so double 18, double 19. It's double eight, double, uh, sorry, eight, four. One dart left. What a let off this is for Mike Norton. He should really have lost the last leg, so it's a bit of payback time. One at left, double six. Dear, oh dear. One dart left at double one, and he gets it. Mike Norton will be absolutely kicking himself. And Tom Lonsdale won't believe his luck. He's had one good finish and played one good leg. And he finds himself at three apiece. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Mike Norton really needs to steady the ship. It's two one up, three one up, and now it's three all. Back to back legs for Tom Lonsdale. Mike Norton would have the right kind of claim to say, well, you shouldn't have won either. Although it was a fabulous one, two, three on the ball. Really, the problem is he shouldn't be getting a go at those one, two, threes. Nothing in this leg until this throw. And that's changed things. Ton 140, one, two, three for Mike Norton in this leg so far. One, two, five, 54, 81 ton for Tom. That first start must have been a complete blocker for him because there was no other reason really to switch. He's left himself a two dart finish. 18 for tops to go back in front. And then throw for the points. He's missed the big number. Absolutely incredible. And Tom. Pick his pocket for a third time. He wants the ball again. A million miles away, was it? This against Barnavald, he just couldn't put him away. So, for another steal, one dart left, awkward, moves along the hockey, changes his line of entry, he narrowly misses the double. So, take four, five, yes. Leaves double one. Tom Lonsdale gets the steal, and it's him that goes within one leg of taking the points. He said before this match, Tom Lonsdale was in full spot with John Brown. This was a great opportunity. Mike Norton to close the gap. This was a game in hand, of course. Still will have a game in hand over a few of the players. Tom looks to have relaxed now. All rhythm to his throw, 140 turn in a leg he needs to get the job done. He won't want to go down the stretch at Hill Hill Try and win a last leg shootout. I'd love to get the job done here and now. So we'll one after nine darts, steady enough. Super time to find the third 180 of the match.
how quick a leg can turn around with that one big score and the effect it had on Tom. It definitely rattled him, that 180. He's right back in this, Mike. If Tom doesn't take the 157 out, well, he's not going to do that. So Mike Norton's going to be back at 76. To hold throw and take it to a decider. So there's no real pressure with Tom back on 133. And his last two visits are 44-24. It's highly unlikely that this was going to go. 102 left, 82 left. So still plenty to do. So Mike should be fairly confident with this one. Yeah, gets it. First start. Here we go then. Final leg. Tom on the ball just prior to the match starting, so he gets the honour. That comes Norton. Has to switch. 98. Oh. Prove the example. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And Tom Lonsdale, by the looks of it, was meant to win this one. Talk about timing. What a time to produce one of the best legs of the match. Left 140 after nine darts. You'd be disappointed there. All the time in the world here. You should be just thinking, right, nice steady turn, leave tops, job done. Uh, still a little bit of work to do. Mike's going to need to find at least two trebles to pile the pressure on. A ton takes him down to 125. So 20. Tops. It's awkward. Left or right. Oh, he goes straight over the top. And it goes in. Well, there we go. Not quite sure how Mike Norton managed to lose that match, but it's Tom Lonsdale that steals the points, wins it 5-4 with a 77 average, Mike Norton 78 average.